advertisements or what a business uh, owner would use to sell his product or uh, his service. More commonly known as uh, ads, uh, they're uh, something that is really, really mainstream in our society and that existed for a long time. They used to be on journal covers and then later television and right now on the internet because it's the biggest platform for reaching potential clients. Uh, it started like uh, two decades ago when uh, when uh, the internet was growing and uh, gaining in popularity. Uh, there used to be like pop-ups and uh, sidebars and uh, maybe windows that open your face and showing you random ads. Maybe uh, things that aren't really your type or uh, aren't really relevant for you. But later they evolved, like when the internet started gaining popularity and social media too, uh, ads became smarter. Uh, right now, uh, this is what we call targeted ads. It's a new generation of ads that uh, will know what you like based on your uh, research history on the web. They use something called cookie that would uh, introduce itself into your browser history and just scan what uh, 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 website you're visiting using a, a web of other cookies. It's a very complicated, uh, complicated process that uh, let the business owner uh, know what to advertise and uh, what to target you with what type of ads, because uh, ads are more relevant for you than ever. It's actually a pleasant experience for the user as he will get to uh, uh, see ads that uh, may interest him and uh, tell him to click on the website. Uh, yeah, it is an effective method, in fact, and uh, more than ever, uh, online advertisement is relevant. Uh, they are used on the social medias. Uh, mostly in the website, uh, but they can find, they can be found like on uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or and, or even forums like uh, the Reddit and Quora, and uh, you can uh, get advertisement about clothing or uh, sport or cooking or another website even. Like you can get um, you can get uh, ads about like Walmart or uh, to Amazon to eBay. And uh, you get even online services like uh, Netflix and Hulu and uh, Amazon Prime and Disney Plus or even VPNs. So yeah, it's something really, really positive. Uh, as uh, it's really very, uh, it's very satile. Everyone gets uh, a combination of ad that fits him. I won't get the same thing as another person, for example, because every user has his own hobbies and interests. And um, this is uh, this is pretty much the positive part because uh, there's. There's some negative too for uh, the user. Uh, research shows that uh, most people are shocked or uh, uneased when they know that they are targeted by ads. Like we're all glad to have ads that uh, are relevant to us, but uh, we're not glad to to know that we are stopped. Like having our research history given to some corporation isn't something that uh, we like for our privacy. Uh, for example. Uh, uh, having uh, medical issues or uh, social issues used against us. Like if I Google my medical issues, I don't want them to be used for advertisement. And uh, this is uh, uh, this is why the new generation of targeted ads, they, they make sure of that. They they won't use personal information or, uh, or uh, uh, easily said like uh, information that will put you an, at an unease. Like for example, if you Google something too many times, you you won't have it pop up in your face because uh, this would this would be disturbing, knowing that you are stuck at the, every second, and this is understandable. So yeah, the 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 creepy aspect of it isn't really there anymore, but it just covers the issues because yeah, corporation and business owners and advertisers still know what you research. So uh, maybe it's the price to pay for better advertising and better experience on the internet in general, having uh, experience. Uh, uh, that are more personalized for the user. Uh, for example, uh, back then it wasn't normal to wear a logo on your clothes and now everybody do it, does it. Even uh, if it's something that is actually free advertising for the company, like I'm paying a piece of clothing that is advertising for a company. But yeah, this may be the new standard for our, our future generation. Like new users don't even care to use a VPN or incognito mode or delete the cookies in their browser to uh, be more uh, private. And uh, uh, in economics, uh, I have to take account of that. Like uh, this is something that affects not even the user, but the economic uh, aspect of society. Like I'll have to take into account uh, 
all the business models and uh, all this new uh, type of advertisement. Because if you want to invest or create a business, you will have to take into account that now it's easier than ever for uh, advertising because your advertisement will reach for the client instead of the cli hoping that the client stumble across your advertisement in the vastness of the web. So yeah, this is something positive for our society. Even if you lose a bit of privacy, it's easier now to start the business. It's easier to to be more aware finding, for example, investment companies because uh, of targeted ads and uh, just the the overall formula of economics is just changed in, in no matter than 20 years. Maybe it will continue to change. So uh, yeah, this is probably pretty much it for uh, the, the impact of uh, targeted ads, social medias and the interest in general on the economy and the user itself himself. It's just a new standard for our um, generation that we'll have to deal to. And uh, this is it. Thank you.